Hey everybody, welcome to Indigar. Yeah, this little indie horror game I found on Itch.io. Link is in the description, as usual. Uh, Julia is a young mother whose daughter has disappeared without a trace. Despite the efforts of the police and their families, Julia has no clue about her daughter. <laughs> I don't have any clue about her. Uh, however, one night, she receives a mysterious message that will put her to the limit. Uh, yeah, I believe this game, at least the developer, is uh, Spanish. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think that's, that's awesome. Uh, they also say that, uh, they recommend playing the game with a single screen because they don't have multiple screens and didn't include the, the screen lock thing. So I'm using my secondary program to do it, but you know, I appreciate the heads up. Uh, it's one line of code and it's a toggle. So maybe, maybe at it, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Anyways, Julia, your daughter is kidnapped in the apartment building. <laughs> La Hacienda. Come if you want to save her. But I warn you, if you show up with someone else or talk to the police, I will kill her. I see you in that place in an hour. Uh, there we go. Is there any sound yet? It's too dark. I should find uh, a way to turn the... Okay, there's, there's the sound. Too dark, turn on the lights. Time is on my side. Okay, so I guess we're looking for... Like a, what, like a generator? Turn two, one. Oh yeah, like everything is in Spanish. So yeah, this is definitely a, a Spanish dev. Boop. Neat. Uh, so I didn't really see any screenshots. I didn't, I didn't actually watch any gameplay of this. I saw like, hey, that, lo that looks like a pretty game, so I might as well check it out. Hello. How are you doing, everybody? I'm going to be streaming tonight over at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Craven. I'm going to be playing some more uh, Dark Souls, the remastered version. Uh, I remade my character. Oh, I can just walk through a lot of stuff. Uh, remade my character and streamed it again on Thursday um, and got to Gravelord Nido like at the beginning of the game which was really fun I've never done that before I never even I never even joined his covenant I got his badass sword uh, the building is alive okay So I, I'm inside a living being. Hot. Hi. Uh, honey. <laughs> I like the way that's spelled. Cute. I went to repair the hole in the wall of that guy from apartment one. He hides the hole with the bookcase. Oh, okay. That falls so easily. Uh, that man is so weird. He stole three medals from a neighbor and kept them in a bedroom. Honey, I want to move. I'm sick of this place. Uh, it's full of crazy people. Why only people like that live in this building. Uh, so I've offered this before, so if I see, if there are any like devs that want like their notes or script like looked over for them, you can send them to me. Just send them my business account. Like I'll check the translation for guys. <laughs> uh, I came a few hours ago, uh, but your wife was not at home, so I entered by force. I took your medals. I will not return them to you until you pay me my money. Okay. Oh, so... Metal holder. Okay, so I gotta go find his medals. What? Okay, uh, Samuel. I'm tired of your offenses and humiliations. I love you and I always will, but I can't uh, be with you anymore. I know these medals make you feel horrible, but I don't understand why you get so upset when I uh, putted them in the medals holder. Uh, you were a fourth place. You were a second place. You were a third place. Okay. So, oops, sorry. Like, four, three, two? Never the first. You were never, uh, the best at something. You were not even a good husband. Ouch. Fucking brutal. My wife left me this morning. Why would he write this down? Uh, this morning, and my tennis career is over. Oh, because, okay. 
My neighbor has taken my medals, but it does not matter. These second, third, and fourth place medals... Excuse me. This reminds me how mediocre and useless I am. Nah, I'm sure that nobody is better than me. <laughs> I'm the most talented. I am the best. That you are, buddy. I appreciate your confidence. Alright. Sometimes you just gotta believe in yourself, no matter what. Uh, I can't open you. Oh, there we go. I can't tell if I'm hitting E on it to open, or if I'm just like walking into them. Um. Can I turn that off? Wow, that's a terrible uh, listening range. You'd be like right up on the TV to hear it. Okay, that one is sounds locked. Okay, and that one's good. How about you? The fuck? All right, let's go check uh, room one again behind the wall. I'm actually kind of enjoying this so far. It's it's cute. The translation is adorable. Uh, so I can go in here. This place will eat you. Okay. Neat. I've been uh, marinating myself for 32 years. So I'll probably taste fucking delicious. There we go. All right. So it says behind the bookcase, right? First, can I go in there? That's locked. All right. Boom. Throw that shit on the ground. Cool, got three medals. Uh, can I go in you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Amazing. That's so cute. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Was he like, we going for a dip? It's going for a little swim? Hi. Sugar the rabbit. Uh, the toy belongs to my daughter. She must be here. Okay. Uh, can I take her? Hold on, I want to go see that guy again. I love him. Amazing. I am truly horrified. <laughs> please, please tell me his legs are gone. Please tell me that he got flushed down. Yes! Yes! Excellent. I love this developer already. I love you. <laughs> That's so good. All right, is there anything different back here? All right, nope, all right. So let's go put those medals on the wall. Uh, Will that like? Huh. All right. Boop. Uh, oh. Silver. Nothing happens. Fourth bronze silver? Nothing happens. Four, three, two, that's right. Wait, no, that, that's what I did. Fourth place. There we go. What? Silent Hill? Really? We're going to the 
Gonna even do the Silent Hill horn, huh? Okay. It's totally fine. And it's kind of ballsy to use an air raid siren like that whenever you're having like your level change into something goopy and gross. So am I supposed to find something? Like did something you guys leave? That <laughs> Did I actually die? Or is that part of the story? Wake up, wake up. It will come back. It wants to torture you. You have to hurry. You only have a few minutes before it returns. Find a silver amulet before time runs out. When you find it, that thing will not come for you anymore. Okay. So I have to run around and try to find an amulet. Gotcha. Okay. I get it. Who are you? Your voice seems familiar. Are you my daughter? Familiar. Are you my daughter? to enunciate, pronunciate. Uh, there's no time for that. Find the silver amulet before time runs out. It has to be in one of the apartments, okay? Okay, so I have two and a half minutes. All right, so that one doesn't fly open anymore. Okay, nope. I thought maybe the the dude, the boy. Might have had it. Oh. The doll's gone. Alright, so it's not down here that I saw. Or Sugar the Bear, or whatever. Um we can try in here. I hope it's, hopefully it's not like super teeny tiny. Still can't go in there. Uh. Spooky music MP3 started playing. Um, there's a CD. Can I ward him off with the CD? What if it's like fucking disturbed <laughs> or like old corn? Uh, uh, gonna guess it's really hard to find then. Wow. No hints as to the location either. I'm gonna prep for a jump scare really quick. There's no way I'm gonna find that in like eight seconds. Oh, it just does this again. Okay. Um. Hold on. My dog is doing a thing. I want to see if I can sneak up and record it. Mike, if I did, insert video. I woke him up on accident. Alright, so is this guy just like a jump scare or does he come at me? I guess I can stand like right here. 
I'm pretty sure it's just a jump scare. Yep, just waiting. Alright. There it is. So it does chase you down. Okay. Alright, let's look for the uh the amulet again. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna be like a super tiny itty-bitty item I have to find or something. Okay, good. What if I just tap E everywhere? <laughs> what if that'll help me find it? So my dog Brody, like every, almost every time he sleeps, uh, he gets like really vivid dreams. Like he'll run and like bark with his mouth closed in his sleep a lot, like like that. It's really cute. I got, I've been, I have a video of it on Instagram. Which if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Just add Mr. Craven. Follow me on all the social medias. All right, it's just Mr. Craven. Usually wherever. At Mr. Craven on Twitter. Which is my main thing. Building is alive. All right, then help me. Uh, Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Mr. Craven. Uh, uh, Where, where the fuck is this thing? What the fuck? What the fuck? Who has a chainsaw? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's awesome. That's cute. I like that a lot. That's that's adorable. I'm glad it wasn't just the eyeball boy again. That's cute. The chainsaw sounds scared the shit out of me, man. I don't like that. Chainsaws in games have always scared me. Chainsaws in general, in life, I think are quite scary. Mostly because I think it's because I saw a Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, at a very young age. I think that that just like ingrained the horror that a chainsaw can be. Alright, so I've been looking for this fucking necklace or medallion amulet, whatever. For a VVV V V V V long time. I'm talking like three whole minutes. Uh but yeah, let's cut to me finding it. Now what? Um. Do I leave? Hi. So you want your daughter? She belongs to me now. You are so miserable. She deserves a better mother. Uh, you will have to kill me to take her away from me. Uh, but I warn you, I'm not easy to kill. <laughs> Is it because you have a chainsaw? Gonna skin my ass raw? And if your band keeps going this way, you just might break my fucking face tonight? Give me some to break! Have at your fucking face! You know what, pack a chainsaw, what? A motherfucking chainsaw, what? <laughs> so come and get it! <laughs> Go. Go. Game go. That was it! Think it's gonna